Okay, so one of the main softwares that we use in this class is called Geometrics. Okay, so it's spelled G-M-E-T-R-I-X. If you guys can't find it, um, I think it's on your desktop, but if not, you can just type in Geometrics, right? Pull it up. So what you'll need to do, you're going to open up this software and you will need to create an account. Okay, so you guys don't have an account yet, so you have no account, you click sign up here. And I'll create a separate assignment for this, but you guys will need to create an account and then it'll have like a code that you put in. Okay, and I'm going to, I don't remember if this is my password or not. There we go. Okay, so this is the software we use. It basically it simulates the Microsoft Office version of the test. Okay, and that's our goal is to get you guys to pass the Excel, PowerPoint, and Word tests with Microsoft. Um, because first off, that's something that you can actually use and put on your resume. And it's basically the industry standard. It's the way that companies can verify that you're actually good at what you say you are, right? So if you say that you're proficient in Excel and Word, this is a way for companies to say, okay, well, how do we know that you are? Um, if you pass the Microsoft version of the test, then that's how they know. Okay, so um, what you guys will do is you'll click new test. And um, we're on Office 2016 right now. We'll see when that changes. But for this year, we're on Office 2016. So you'll click on that. And then you'll choose which area you're on. So let's say uh, we were starting off with Excel. So you'll click on Excel. Okay, and then um, it'll give you guys different options. Okay, so like Excel Practice, Excel Word, etc. So it'll look most it'll most likely look like this. We do a practice exam. Um, we do three of those. Okay, so we do one, two, and three. One is in a practice mode. The others we do in testing mode. Okay, and so what'll happen is you'll let's say I'm taking this one in testing mode. I click testing mode. It's gonna want to download, so I'm gonna click OK. Downloads everything that I need. I click OK again. I hope it pulls up on this screen and not my other screen. I guess we'll find out. There we go. Okay, so it pulls it up, and I have a couple different options, right? I can zoom, toggle, send feedback, don't ever. Right, so we always skip through the overview. The overview is not really that important. It just tells us what we're working on, but it's not that big of a deal. Task one, okay, so it's going to tell me what I need to do. I need to go do it. Once I do it, I can mark it as complete. If I don't know how to do it, mark for review so I can come back later. Okay, and once I get through all five tasks, I would click grade project. Okay, and so it's going to go through, grade that, and then it'll take me to the next task, right? So I have, I have seven different projects. Um, each one has about five tasks. Okay, so um, I want to get out of this. I'm going to click save project. Um, usually when you save the project, I always save on Geometrics Cloud. Cloud is just another fancy word for the internet, so it just means that it's really hard for you to lose it. Right. If I save on the computer, sometimes the computer crashes or um, maybe I didn't save it in the right spot so I can't find it again. Um, if I do it to the cloud, it's going to be easier to find. Okay, and then what you can see on the left hand side, I can see my save tests. I can see my completed tests. Okay, so like if you we take screenshots of our scores in this class and you submitted to Canvas. So if you maybe forgot to take a screenshot or um, you think the score was wrong or whatever, I can go to my completed tests. It'll pop up with all the ones I've taken. Okay, and let's say it was like, oh, look, I got 100%. Try beating that, huh? But I can click on that, and it will show me what my score is. Okay, and then it also shows me. This is this is the screen that pops up when you're done taking your test. It grades it for you. I'm a superstar, so basically I'm kind of a big deal. But, yeah, I can, uh, I can go and I can click on, like, let's say I missed this one, right? Ice cream test five. I can go click right over here on this little guy and it will show me um, where I messed up, right? Like it'll tell me a little bit about the task that I messed up and I can learn a little bit about it. That way when I take it again, that I'm in a good spot. Okay, so that is Geometrics. Again, we take uh, a lot of different tests on this software, so it's good to get familiar with it and uh, whatnot. So there it is, Geometrics.